Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome, welcome. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back and hanging out with me. For today's video, I really wanted to do a kind of get ready with me everyday makeup look. So if you want to see how I got this everyday natural makeup look, then just keep watching. Okay, so first things first, we're going to start by moisturizing our face. You can use any moisturizer that you prefer. Um, I will leave all the products and brushes linked down below. Um, after I moisturize, I'm going to go in and um, shape my eyebrows using my NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the color Brunette. And in this look, I'm going to specifically be using strokes versus harsh lines because I really want to come off with that natural look. Um, I just want to apologize in advance for not having a backdrop, but I really want to do like a get ready with me kind of video. And I just felt like a backdrop is not how I get ready. That's that's what I look at. That's my hallway. So, I mean, get ready with me. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and conceal those dark circles using my Tarte Shape Tape in the color Tan Sand. And I'm really going to push that in with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. And I'm also going to bring it on the top of my lid because for some reason, my lid needs to be just as dark as my circles. Anyway, I'm going to apply my Maybelline Dream BB Fresh BB Cream. I'm going to apply it first using my Real Techniques um, Pointed Foundation Brush, but then I'm going to use my Beauty Sponge and just push that into the skin. I'm going to go ahead and do a second coat here. I kind of felt like my skin needed a little more coverage today, so I'm just going to go in the same way I did the first time, brush first, and then push that in with the Beauty Sponge. But once I go ahead and get that product into my face, I'm going to move on to my eyes. Although I have concealed and applied BB cream to my lids, I felt like I needed a little bit of shadow. So I'm going to go in with the MAC Matte Eyeshadow in the color Soft Brown. And I'm just going to apply that with my base shadow brush, also from Real Techniques. I'm going to start off with applying it into the crease and then bringing it down to the lid. I felt like the soft brown and the matte just really blended in it. It didn't look like I was wearing too much eyeshadow, so it worked out. But I'm also going to go ahead and warm up my skin. I'm not going to do a full-blown contour, but I can't leave myself just flat with one color. So I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Contour Kit. I'm going to dip my um, sculpting brush into the color Havana and just warm up my cheeks and my forehead. To continue on with warming up my face, I'm going to go ahead and use MAC sheer tone blush in the color peaches and with my blush brush also from real techniques i'm going to just warm up my cheeks i think i apply a little on my nose i normally always do and just give my face a little bit more warmth and then i'm going to go into the carly bible palette the second color in on the third row is what i'm going to use to highlight it's a much darker highlight so i kind of felt like it blended in with my skin but no matter natural or glammed out i'm always going to highlight okay once I'm done with that, I'm just going to go ahead and set my eyebrows. I'm going to be using the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel just to keep my brows in place and not have them moving with the wind. And once I'm done with that, I'm going to move on to my lashes. For primer, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Voluminous Base. And then I'm going to go ahead and coat that with my L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise on both my top and bottom lashes. Once I'm done with my lashes, I like to set my face. I'm going to go in with the Mario Badescu Facial Spray. This has really been something I've been reaching for lately. And when you're going for a natural makeup look, I just really like the way that this um, spray just gives it that final touch. After applying the Mario Badescu Spray, I'm just going to take my beauty sponge and push all the product in and make everything look seamless. Then I'm going to go in with the um, MAC Pat and Polish Lip Pencil in the color French Kiss. I'm going to apply that to my lips and then push it in with my fingertips to decrease the gloss effect and make it look more natural. And that's how you get this easy everyday makeup look. I just think it looks so natural, brings color to your face without looking like you put in too much effort. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos every Sunday and until next time guys, bye!